All right, this is just a quick update of what's happening. As you guys know, I am working on my PCB project, right? This is a PCB, for those of you who don't know, it's a PCB to put batteries uh, in it and to quickly put batteries uh, in this sort of uh, piece, you know, printed circuit boards. And what that would allow you to do is to make like larger packs like this and then even larger packs, sort of like these. Yeah, this is gonna be a power wall, five and just over, a little bit over five kilowatt hours. I've been working on this, been putting these together. This is a version one PCB. This is the version two. I'm gonna replace all these with the version two, finish it, test it. And just to give you a reference, this is what I used to have. This is a, a older power wall using the um, hoverboard batteries, right? Um, I never quite really made a video about that one, but that was because they sold out. And so Pete, you guys can't buy them, so you can't build them. So there's no use for me to do that. But these, this is, this is future proof. This is what we're all going to be doing. And I'm going to be hopefully the first one. Well, I think people are going to beat me to it because basically this video is to tell you that I'm not quite done doing all the testing, right? I want to test this as is. Like, I tested the, the boards individually, like, you know, the, the fuses blowing, all this other stuff, but I haven't tested it as a, as a pack. I, this is going to be a 5 kilowatt pack, and I'm going to load it with 5,000 watts of inverters to be able to run my AC. And then only once I do that, then I'll be able to see how it performs, if there's any problems, if it heats up, if, you know, if any of the flow, uh, if the connectors, there's like a million little connectors here for the uh, seven balance leads to each battery. I don't know how those are gonna perform on the load. Well, those, that's what I have to do. And one only once I do that, then I can release the, uh, the file so that you can uh, do the, you know, your PCB yourself. But for right now, I have made the file available to all the members of my group on Facebook. And I will include the link there. Uh, I know there's a lot of people, not everyone likes Facebook, not everyone's gonna go. And so that's actually good because I don't want everyone to download and start using this thing until I have it, you know, done the final test. But if you're on Facebook, if you're there, or if you don't mind, go in there and you want to play with it you can go right now and download the file and you can start playing with it you can even order it and you can start putting a battery pack together like this right uh otherwise for the rest of you wait for the video uh, i think that video is going to be pretty cool i'm actually going to take a couple of these boxes and put them up here replace those and uh yeah it's going to be a full-on you know full-fledged power wall using uh, 1850s, recycle 1850s, but in a way that, you know, looks uh, more professional and stuff. Doesn't, it's not gonna look home, as homemade as some of the other power walls, right? So that's what we're going for. So, thank you for watching this update. We'll see you guys in the next video.